Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm gonna show you how to draw Charlie Brown and Snoopy. So come on, let's get started. Well guys, this video is dropping early October of 2020, which coincides with the 70th anniversary of Charlie Brown, Snoopy, Linus, and the gang. Charles Schultz debuted Peanuts in the comic strips October 2nd, 1950. So I thought, what better way to celebrate that than with a video? So let's dive in to Charlie Brown and Snoopy. So what I like to do is I like to start with the bigger character first. So we're going to start with Charlie Brown. And uh, you'll note that um, starting with a nice big circle on this page. You know, I get questions, um, how big a piece of paper do I use? Um, for these videos, because I need to be able to zoom in and out, and I need you guys to be able to see it, it's um, an 11 by 17 sheet of paper. Um, it's really nothing special. It's really, it's copy paper, um, but it works. It has a nice tooth to it. It's not too bad, and um, it just gives me a nice smooth surface to just draw some nice quick uh, drawings for you. So what I do is I throw in my horizontal up here. My vertical goes down there. The first thing I draw on Charlie Brown is his nose. Now his nose is like a C shape. So the C shape, uh, these lines are straight out, right? This one is down on a slight angle. We come down here and then this line is more flat, okay? Then right in here, nice and tight on that nose, we've got his eyes. Sometimes they're complete circles, sometimes they're more like egg shapes. Um, but you'll note that when you really take a good look at Charles Schultz's sketches, um, you've got a very squiggly line. It's because he worked with a pen and ink, and um, that pen uh, tended to hold on to more ink in, other, in some parts than others, right? So you've got a varying line, and it did get a little squiggly toward the end, but I think that adds to the charm. All right, so his hair is nothing more than than a squiggle line. Sometimes it's even just a like a curly W, but I like to do it like this. Okay, so you'll note that I haven't drawn anything else yet. I drew the face. It's because sometimes with Charlie Brown, at least for me, I like to make sure that that face is in and then I will draw that head around it. I already have the, the light sketch of the head, so it's not like I'm gonna go out of proportion, but here we are. Now I'm drawing it nice and thick here because Charles Schultz's lines were good and thick. So I am just really double, tripling, and quadrupling over these lines just to give it that line weight. Now with Charlie Brown's head, it's almost a circle. Okay, now what do I mean by that? Well, down toward the bottom, we kind of flatten out a little bit. A little bit. We're not going to go flat. But you'll notice that it kind of evens out here, just like so. Okay. Now, we need to put in his ears. Well, here, let's... let's See this this line quality it's not exactly what they do there but it's giving me the impression okay so now the ears line up around the bottom of that nose and you'll find that the ears are just slightly bigger in size than his nose would have been so I got one ear here make sure that it lines up on this side and on this side because he's turned a little bit you're only gonna get an impression of the end of the other ear. Okay, so now that I have his head in, I'm going to measure the size of the head and come down one. I already have his body in. Now his legs are gonna come down here. Now, now I'm drawing lightly, you see, right? Because I wanna map out where I'm gonna put Snoopy. But here we go. Uh, this essentially is, uh, 
but yeah, like that. Here we go. There's his head, his body shape. So like I said, his head height is exactly the same height as his body. That's that includes his neck and his clothing. His neck will come down here. Okay, so now we've got Charlie Brown's head in, and we've very lightly drawn in his body. Uh, so now we're going to figure out how we're going to draw Snoopy. Now Snoopy stands at uh, Charlie Brown's chin level. So that's why I knew I could draw Charlie Brown's head, but very lightly figured out where his body's gonna go. So now we can throw in Snoopy, and then we're gonna draw Charlie Brown around Snoopy. All right? Just like I showed you the cheat for uh, sizing up Charlie Brown, Snoopy is exactly two heads tall. Okay, so I know if I go halfway down from the chin to the floor, that is how tall I can make Snoopy. So let's see, if I throw in a circle like this, right? Circle's gonna dip in a little bit, and then I'm gonna draw in another oval shape, kind of like this. And here we have it. If you wanna think of it another way, we've got an uneven heart shape. It goes in like this. Now Snoopy is a beagle. I know he looks just like one, right? It's very realistic. So if you're looking to draw a really nice looking Snoopy in front of Charlie Brown, that's basically his head shape when he's looking kind of off on a three quarter view. His ear comes right about here. And don't worry about gravity taking his ear down. Not with these characters. So Snoopy's ear is black, but the way he's designed, he has this like white halo around it, right? So it's almost as if he has a black spot. But when Snoopy's dancing around and his ears are up or doing whatever, they're plain straight black. So it's one of the, the fun aspects of drawing comic strips. Okay, so now his eyes, you would think they'd go up here. They don't. They come down here. Just like with Mickey Mouse, to, no matter where Mickey's head is angled, those ears are always nice and, and, and rounded. Same thing with Snoopy's eyes. Those eyes are always together and they kind of find their way inside the shape. Same thing with the nose. The nose will go right about here. And then he has eyebrows here. We got one here. The other one will go above the eye. Yes, it's floating in midair. It's part of the charm of these designs. All right, so like I said, we've got the rest of his body to put in, right? So let's see, we'll finish off the back of the head and bring down a nice thin neck. And now, I'm gonna draw in a little belly like this. It's kind of, um, it's almost like a triangular shape. It's very thin up here. Give him a little belly down here. And then his arm will fit in right about here. Give him a collar here. And now his, his legs and his feet will follow along the same designs as the rest of the Peanuts kids. So they're, they're, they're kind of thick, right? And then his feet, like a flattened oval. It's flat here at the bottom. The heel comes out like that, and then we're just gonna separate the toes just like that. And do the same thing with the other foot. Of course, the other foot is pushed out a little bit so that you can see it. And then, got a tail just like that. You can throw in some 
shadows or some lines in there, but there you go. There's Snoopy. You know, let's give Snoopy his other ear here on the other side. So now we've got Snoopy in there. Let's go back to Charlie Brown and throw him in. So we have his rough body shape in here, right? We're going to give him his neck. And his neck will always have a bit of a shadow. Gives a little depth. And Snoopy is covering, but let's see. Let's throw in his shirt collar. And he always looks like he just came, he just rolled right out of bed. His clothes are always wrinkly, a little disheveled. He's always wearing the same shirt that he wore the day before. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Okay, so I've got the collar in there. I know that his shorts are all, you only see a little bit of the shorts. His shirt is untucked. And let's see. His hand will come right above the shirt. And there we have it. That is the length of his arm. We'll throw in, throw in his short sleeve shirt like that. And we will, I'm using reference, but I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna quote unquote improve on it. Okay, just like that. You don't improve on Charles Schultz's stuff. You just draw it a little differently so it'll make sense to you. Okay. He has black shorts and they'll go like that. I'm just gonna shade these in. And then just like Snoopy, I'm gonna put in those shoes but like I said it is the same shape as Snoopy's feet just gonna color in his shoe give him a sock line here give him the hint of some laces and the other leg comes in here the socks are kind of squiggled and they're, they're loose and there we have it okay notice I'm just I'm being very careful so that I don't step on his feet and let's see okay there we go the other side of his shirt is a hint of his other arm and now what I do when I'm drawing in his squiggle he's got like a chevron squiggle line across his across his shirt right so because I want to keep it consistent I'll just lightly draw in those two lines the top and the bottom and there we go now that's a lot cleaner looking than than how he looks in the comics but really I don't want to scribble this in And there you go, guys. If you like drawing videos like this, I got some others for you right here. And what perfect timing with this anniversary. We got Halloween coming up. Dress them up in costume. Wait a couple months. Dress them for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. You're good to go. Guys, thanks for drawing with me. Until the next video, we'll see you later.